So as far as I know, uh, to be a good soldier means that you can take commands and you will obey them quickly and you will do them effectively quickly. That's what it means to be a good soldier, right? That you don't sit back and once you hear a command, think about it and wonder, I think, I wonder if that's actually a good idea. I really believe that we have to go to him with a childlike faith and just trust him. Some of you have children uh, that trust you completely. Uh, Smokey talked recently about throwing his kid way up in the air and trusting him. And I imagine he had no idea what was happening, but he just trusted him, right? He knew that dad was going to catch him. And many of you have uh, experiences like that with your kids. Your kids fully trust you. Maybe there's been times where you're like, I don't know why you trust me in this, but that's awesome. So I think we need to think about as a church and as individuals, individuals, as you go out and share your faith and what you believe, what message is it that you are proclaiming? Are you spending more time in, uh, attacking the things that you're against? Or are you spending time being faithful to the truth that you have been entrusted with, the truth of the gospel? Because that truth will speak against those things that you are against. But what, do, what message do people hear from you? Is that you're against all these things? Or do they hear the message of what you're for and what you truly believe and who you follow? And so he says, it's not about me. It's not about my story and what I've done and how I've been a part of it. It's only about Christ and what Christ has done in me. And that's true for all of us too. But so often, I want to say, well, look at the sin I've overcome. Look how I have encouraged someone spiritually. Look how I have shared the gospel and been faithful to this message. But it's not about me. And when we make it about me, well, then we're trying to, what we end up saying is that it's too far gone for others. And that's what we think when we think it's partially on us. And so we live defeated in these areas of our life. We never have victory over these sins because we're not completely embracing Christ. We're not completely following him and completely allowing him to change our lives. 